Next to CTV News Investigates, and if you've ever tried to fight a parking ticket, maybe you can relate. A Toronto man stuck in a bureaucratic nightmare inside the city's new system to handle complaints. CTV's John Woodward joins us now, and John, the system was supposed to be simpler and cheaper. Yeah, the problem that they might have missed is fairness, Nathan. One of our viewers was spinning his wheels in that appeal system, and no one was listening until he got in touch with us. Miles Loosely Millman got an unpleasant surprise when he parked his car outside the Swansea Community Recreation Centre in November, and he wasn't alone. Went for a swim, came back out and saw that every single car on the road was ticketed and thought, well, that can't be right. His $100 ticket was for parking in a no-stopping zone, and it cited this no-stopping sign. But Loosely Millman was skeptical because he'd parked there many times before. They took measurements, submitted pictures, Google Maps. Pictures that showed that sign contradicted by neighboring signs. A Google Street View that showed that sign pointing in the opposite direction. And our CTV deckled vehicle seen there parked legally. City rules that said the sign should be pointing away from his car. Miles came to the conclusion that the sign itself was the problem. And you can see that little sticker there that could be in the wrong place. This is going to be a slam dunk. They're going to look at this. It's visibly been tampered with. That should be the end of it. The hearing officer sided with the city and asked Loosely Millman to pay. He left disillusioned. It really didn't matter what you had to say. Nobody was particularly interested. You were guilty if you were there, essentially. That appeal is the end of the line because a few years ago, the city of Toronto dealt with a court backlog of hundreds of thousands of parking appeals by bringing it all in-house. The move to an administrative penalty system saved some $3 million annually. Instead of judges, there are hearings officers. Once they've got you, they've got you. It's faster, said paralegal Mark Breslow, but without legal protections, the system may be much less fair. How can you convict someone of an offense that doesn't exist and have nowhere to go with it? The city says it's no kangaroo court. Out of about 9,000 hearings requested in 2021, it canceled 1,300. It varied about 2,400 and affirmed 1,400. But almost 4,000 tickets, half, are stuck in a new backlog, a problem that may get worse as more people are parking as the pandemic winds down and more people get tagged. After our questions about Loosely Millman's ticket, officials say the chair of the Administrative Penalty Tribunal has reviewed the matter and the notice of violation, parking ticket, has been cancelled, as the sign had been inappropriately altered. City crews have since responded to the location and corrected the signs. Loosely Millman happy to get the ticket cancelled, but... It's kind of nonsense. I mean, they find out that they're going to get media attention and that they suddenly fix the problems that they've been aware of for seven, eight months. He hopes the city takes this as a sign to go in a new direction. Talk about no stopping. One other question, whether any of the other drivers ticketed on that stretch will get a refund after going through a system that says it gives the final word on tickets apparently almost all of the time. Reporting live, I'm John Woodward. Nathan, back to you.